Mr. Glover, Mr. Glover, you have an opportunity to speak. No, 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 no. Turn the mic on. We're tired of hearing politicians. Turn the mic on. Turn the mic on. Good evening, everyone. I'll show you how disrespectful this is. On the 5 o'clock news, they projected that the migrants would be here by Saturday. Look at, look, welcome to the, welcome to the city. Well, I got to tell you, only certain areas are welcoming. That's us, the rest. They say they want to use this park, but let me tell you, LaSalle Street, Clark Street, all the office buildings, nobody wants to be in the loop anymore. They all want to move west because of new buildings with better amenities. Those buildings are empty right now with water, heat, and everything. But they don't want the migrants out there. We're not anti-migrants, but this is so disrespectful for them to just sit up here with this crap and we're supposed to listen to it. You know what? If you would had your right mind and see a crowd like this, you would say to yourself, they don't want it. But no, these politicians, they think that they can just do everything. And see, another thing is you all's representative, I can say what I want to say because I take nothing from them. I don't need nothing from them. Okay? They have disrespected us, our community. They're going to tell us to just shove it down our throats, and we're supposed to like it. Yeah, you all are sitting there. And another thing, they do not have a plan. And so many migrants come in, they say, let's take this. Let's, let's take that. Now you see a viable park here that's functioning well in a nice area. Say this was a bad area, they wouldn't be here. Okay? Another thing I want you to understand how we support this park. This park needed air conditions. You think we went to the park this No, because we don't need them. We bought them. Supply at this old park. They needed a stove and a refrigerator. We support. We did it. The mandatory council. They needed a microwave. We give Christmas parties. And I don't ask these politicians for a dime. And this place is packed. See, they don't like people like me. Because I'm not taking any crap. And, all the, and, and Brandon Johnson and, and, Mayor, and Alderman Terry Farrell, they wear this hat. And it's there. And all this crap about it, I just got to notice that. Well, if they don't give you that much respect as all of it, you don't need to be all of it. So, so don't drink, don't drink the Kool-Aid. There are ample places in this city that the migrants come up, the health issue, the shots that they haven't had. They're going to set this city back a long ways with this crap that they're doing. Just throwing people in. They don't give a sh In New York, half the hospitals are full with migrants. They reckon they can't get away to... Now, 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 I don't mind, I don't mind, and we're not anti-migrants, but it shouldn't be on our backs. All right, this is our part. Mr. Glover, thank you so and much. I, and, 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 and I want to say something to you, all of you all. And when you leave here, stop depending on the politicians. And stop voting for the same people getting the same results.